the name of God. Greetings and regards. I am Dr. Tarom. I am a cardiac and vascular surgery subspecialist. The patient we operated on yesterday is our current patient, a 71-year-old gentleman who underwent Bentol surgery and CABG. The patient's primary condition was a bicuspid aortic valve, which is commonly referred to as bicuspid aortic valve. This is a variation that about 1 to 2 percent of the general population typically have. If the patient does not show symptoms or have any problems early in life, usually in later decades and at an older age, it can lead to complications such as aortic valve stenosis or aortic valve insufficiency. A normal aortic valve typically has a cross-sectional area of about 3 square centimeters. In his case, the severe stenosis that had developed in the aortic valve had reduced the valve's cross-sectional area to 0.14 square centimeters, which actually constituted a critical aortic stenosis for him. At the same time as this pathology, due to the aortopathy present in these patients, the patient's aortic sinus and ascending aorta had become dilated and expanded, which can increase the risk of aortic rupture and dissection in this patient. Along with coronary artery stenosis, the patient underwent a complete aortic root replacement, which included the aortic valve, the aortic sinuses, and the ascending aorta. Additionally, three of the patient's coronary arteries, due to blockage and narrowing, were treated with coronary artery bypass grafting. It was a major surgery, which fortunately he underwent yesterday, and thank God he is doing completely well and his condition is stable. Thank you very much.